Welcome to a rather different episode of Am the Week. Last episode we covered the sorting hat spider named after the character in Harry Potter, and researching that animal led me down a rabbit hole, or should I say, a burrow, little Harry Potter play on words for you there, into a whole host of different newly discovered animals that have been named after characters in the Harry Potter series. As most are relatively newly discovered animals, because Harry Potter only came out in 1997, so there can't be many animals discovered before that named after it, this means that there is relatively little information information out there on each of them. So considering this, I've decided to combine my top 5 favourite animals named after Harry Potter into one single special episode of Am the Week. First up is Trimerosaurus Salazar, more commonly known as Salazar's Pit Viper. It is a pit viper native to eastern India in the lush foothills of the Himalayas. They were first discovered in 2019. Their name refers to Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and founder of Slytherin House. It's a rather fitting name for a snake, as Slytherin's whole thing is snakes, having been a parcel tongue himself, and the Slytherin sigil is a silver snake with a green background. Interestingly, this species is sexually dichromatic, similar to sexual dimorphism, except it refers to a difference in colour between sexes, not structural or size differences. The males possess a yellowish-brown stripe along the length of their body that the females lack. They also have a rusty red tail tip. Lucky for us, these snakes are considerably smaller than a basilisk, only growing to 30 to 40 centimetres. However, despite its small size, it is a pit viper and therefore rather venomous. Though potentially deadly in the worst cases, the venom probably isn't potent enough to destroy a horcrux. It can easily kill the small mammals, lizards and birds it feeds on though. As a member of the genus Trimosaurus, it is closely related to a number of other pit vipers in India, South Asia and Southeast Asia, such as the Asian lancehead viper. Most members of this genus are ovoviviparous, giving birth to live young, however some are not, and for many, including Salazar's viper, too little is known about their breeding. Lycosa aragogi is our next Harry Potter named animal. It takes its name from Aragog, Hagrid's pet giant spider, first introduced in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This spider is native to the Kerman province of southeast Iran. These spiders are members of the family Lycosidae, meaning they are wolf spiders. What makes wolf spiders distinguishable from many other species is their two large eyes, with the rest of the eyes being much smaller. This is the main reason for being named after Aragog, as you can see that he shares the similar eye layout to wolf spiders. This is because Aragog was apparently directly based upon this family. Like Salazar's snake, these snakes are thankfully much, much smaller than their Harry Potter counterparts, growing to only around 26mm across. Still quite big compared to other spiders, but not the 18 foot leg span that Aragog has. Most wolf spiders are venomous, and so though not confirmed, it's safe to assume that these are as well. The bites aren't usually deadly though, and will generally just cause swelling, irritation, and necrosis of the cells around the bite, which could lead to infection if not cleaned properly. Third on our list of Harry Potter animals is Harryplax Severus, a species of crab first described in 2017. Interestingly, this species was first discovered in 1998, but only two specimens were ever found, and so it took 19 years of searching to find more of them to study properly. The name Harryplax comes from two places. First, it's an ode to Harry Potter, but also to the person who first discovered this species, Harry Conley. The Severus part comes from Severus Snape, partly due to the pale, beady-eyed look of the crab, and also because, to quote the scientist who described it, Snape kept one of the most important secrets in the story, just like the present new species which has eluded discovery until now, nearly 20 years after it was first collected. The crab lives off the coast of Guam, a small island in the Pacific, in the rubble reefs of the area. As a crab, it feeds upon small plankton floating in the water, as well as small fish and mollusks that it can get its pincers on. It is the only species in the genus Harryplax, part of the family Chrismaplacidae, which contains contains only one other species of crab, Chrismaplax mirabilis, from the Christmas Islands. The final two animals on this list are both wasps, but each have a very unique look. First we have Lucius Malfoyi, a species of parasitoid wasp hailing from New Zealand. It truly is quite a terrifying looking wasp and the thing of nightmares. It's named after Lucius Malfoy, father of Draco Malfoy, and honestly I can see the resemblance. You may be thinking that I've misspelled Lucius, but actually the genus name originally had no relation to the Harry Potter series. Lucius the genus was first described in 1903 and contains nine different species. The scientist who named Malfoy simply saw the perfect opportunity for a good pun and took it. 
Being a parasitoid wasp means that it reproduces by laying eggs inside of other animals, so that when they hatch they have a perfect host to feed off of. It is thought that these wasps prefer moths as their hosts. Within New Zealand, they are quite rare to find, despite having a range encompassing all of the North and South Islands. These wasps don't actually sting, and that was another key reason for their naming. Those who described the species wanted to show that wasps get a bad reputation despite actually being mostly harmless. And so they used the name Lucius Malfoy, as in the end he somewhat redeems himself and his family despite looking evil. Our final animal and wasp is Ampulex Dementor, a truly terrifying looking wasp named after the Dementors who guard Azkaban prison. And these really do look similar. Not only do they look similar, they even have similar abilities to the Dementors. Where Dementors can consume the souls of humans and put them in a vegetative state, these wasps can do something similar to its cockroach prey. When it stings its prey, it releases a toxin that inhibits octopamine receptors of the cockroach. These receptors are important neurotransmitters, and so when impaired leaves the cockroach docile and lethargic. The wasp will then take control of the cockroach's antenna, prodding them to move the cockroach all the way back to the wasp's nest, where it will then easily consume it. Truly a fascinating and unique method of hunting that makes it deserve its name Dementor. Fittingly, these wasps are known as a type of cockroach wasp, as they feed upon cockroaches, which also makes them great pest control. They are also rather small, only about a centimetre in length, but they need to be this small in order to ride on their cockroach prey and guide them with their antenna. So there you have it, my pick of my top 5 favourite animals named after the Harry Potter series. I kept the best till last as I think the Dementor Wasp is truly an amazing animal and definitely well named. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.